Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 here on the Game Professor channel. I am your host, the Game Professor, and we just took care of Thane's loyalty mission last time, and now we're going to help these Asari be able to get off of the Citadel. And while we could have just given them the forged IDs that we have before I'm asking sorry, them anything. But I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. I mean, yeah, that 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 would have to be checked. <laughs> yeah, on an airplane. Can I help you, ma'am? Why can't the two Asari leave? I talked to a couple of Asari. They said customs won't let them leave the station, but they were told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk death infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of C-Sex undercover agents. They're not Geth, though. Did you talk with them? Did they seem like Geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. I'm yep. not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Is there anything else I can do for you? Excellent. I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next! I mean... Yeah. There are... There are... Sorry for the inconvenience, man. Even in the real world, there are a lot of random reasons why people are put on no-fly lists and stuff like that. And and the random searches at uh, at airport security and stuff like that. It's uh, the the random searches because um, let's. Let's be honest, they're, they're very rarely actually random. But, let us chat with these two again. So? They will let you leave. Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? Friendly persuasion. I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Very nice. Got a little extra Paragon, got a little extra credits. So, let's go back to the Normandy then. And I guess we'll start heading off to um, good old Jacob's. Loyalty mission. Because other than the Reaper IFF and um what's it? Uh Overlord. That's all we have left. So Or, mm, do I want to do Overlord now? This is difficult. I have, uh... I have a lot of opinions on Overlord. So... I try... Especially in trying to present the story in a logical manner in this playthrough, I... I'm trying to be very particular about when I do it. Any messages? No messages. Let's take a quick look at our journal. So we have Jacob, Stop the Collectors. Oh, I still need to talk to him. Oh, I still need to bring the packages back to Ish now because I got the second package. We have Arrival which we are leaving until after we do the collector um, the home world the suicide mission we are purposely saving up for the end oh we still have that then we have overlord okay well you know what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna use this as a cleanup episode basically 
of the last little cleanup episode. That will give me time to decide if I want to do Overlord yet. So let's start off with the Lost Operate. So we're going to Lorik and the Father System. And this should be a quick one. Um, the nice thing about all of these little side quests we have left is that they're all very quick. So let's see here. Let's see, IFF. Let's see, where is our missing operative? I, because it should be telling me where it is. Well, let's go to Omega first. We can drop off Ish's packages. That getting to Omega is always kind of a good methodology because it usually will get us fairly close to where we need to go. Then I'll double check which actual um, cluster we need to go to once I'm done with that and hopefully I'll also check to see if I can get Miranda's loyalty back at this point because I'm hoping that we may have gotten our paragon high, to, high enough I'll be able to double check that when we select our crew because there will be a level up <sighs> Sorry, I'm being a little quiet in my head. Oh man, that's funny. It's just the Cerberus operatives that are not loyal right now. That's fantastic. Um, I have sometimes just not done Jacob's loyalty, I'm not going to lie. Um, I will do it this time, though. We'll do Miranda and Garrus. We're not doing much of anything with this. Um specifically not no fighting or anything like that so hopefully shouldn't be anything too crazy all right nothing there and it does look like my paragon's gone up a fair bit so let's go talk to ish and see what is up because he obviously is trying to do something to take down our lovely asari Queen of Omega. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. The stolen data. Have you seen what's in these packages? Why? Did you find something untoward? Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. What are you after? Why do you want information about one of Arya's men? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya, and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. If Antor hmm. or Arya found out, I'd be ruined or killed. Give it up. Arya will find out what you're up to, Ish. I don't envy you when that happens. I I think I can handle it. No one has beaten Arya in centuries. Once she casts down your clients, she'll come looking for you. You're right. I I have to get out of here. Thank you, my friend. You probably just saved my life. Come on, mm -hmm. Sil. We have to get out of here. <laughs> well, that was easy. Um, and I don't think I have to do anything else with that data. Okay. I wonder... Hmm. Maybe I can give them to Arya? Or maybe now, since I sent him away, it just kind of remains unfinished. Let's find out. Because we could talk to Anto. I... I had seen that, so we can talk to him again. You wanna talk? Talk to Arya. Okay. I've never done this in this manner. What do you need? Well, nothing, alright. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. 
You should find a nice young man to keep you warm. You look well, that is very interesting, to say the least. I wouldn't have thought of that as being something that nipped the entire mission in the bud without officially ending it. So, very interesting. In that case, then, I'll double check again which system I have to go into. Father Omega Nebula. Okay. So yeah, we are in the correct place anyway, so. Coolio. And this, I'm a little surprised that I hadn't done this one yet because this is one of the first N7 uh, and they, they're listed N7, but they're basically just um, the Cerberus missions. Uh, let's see. And yeah, um, this should be quick as well. I'll also, once we're done with this, check and see if I can get Miranda's loyalty again. We'll find out. And if I don't get her loyalty before we go to endgame, there is a way to keep her alive. There is. Um, I just have to remember precisely what it is. Father. Oh, yep, and this is the only one we haven't actually explored at all. Perfect. So we'll get a platinum rich planet while we're at it. Very exciting. Oh, there's another one we haven't explored at all. All right. Let's just do some quick scanning. Not that I really need to do any more scanning. Probe launched. I'll just do that. Cool. Let's see, is this... Nope. Karar. Not what we're looking for. Must be this one, Lorik. Ah, yes, Lorik. Alrighty. So... Well, let's Scans find out. Anomaly detected. Signal scans detect a transmitter matching Cerberus encryption. It is registered to an unknown deep cover operative. Cerberus operative life signs unconfirmed. Other transmissions that match known eclipse coded communication also detected. Well, that's where we're going. Always fun. Doing Cerberus cleanup. I mean, ultimately, that is also, at its core, what Overlord is. It's just cleaning up a Cerberus-created mess. Uh, we'll do Eclipse. Yeah, that should be good. Garrison Miranda. Because there will be some non-biotic people as well. So there will be so, a certain degree of shields rather than barriers. But I'll have the warp for the barriers as well. So, fun, fun, fun. Alrighty. Let's get going to find our lost operative. There we go. Alright. Get the vanguard down. That was not cool game. Why would you change my point of aim like that? Oh boy. Got another vanguard there. That's not what I wanted you to do, Miranda. There we go. 
Not at all. This should slow him down. Have to be very careful not to allow these enemies to flank in this case. Alright, I'm switching. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Alrighty. There we go. Finally got her. Oh, Garrus is down. Why are you down, Garrus? That is very rude of you. Shields have failed. Man, these guys are getting me fast. They're doing a lot of quick takedown of my shields. There we go. All right. That got Garrus back up. Let's see, get our ammo. Holding cell access. That will get us to our operative. The rare case where things are the furthest apart. Right. Subject ID interrogator, Corporal Giro, Cerberus agent Tyrone Rawlings. Eclipse targeted Agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could not could, could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachni experiments. Ooh. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Without his cipher, the, the data could take years of Eclipse to, for Eclipse to decode. Agent Rawlings proved difficult to capture, having insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Attican Traverse. He had won over the loyalty of the ship's crew, who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defenses long enough to extract Agent Rawlings. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset. This data had better be worth the expense. And then the interrogation. The interrogation has failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlings managed to evade our, our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. Eventually, Agent Rawlings' resistance caused tempers to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Agent Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. We have men working to decipher the encryption now. As long as we control this data, its mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. Well, that definitely sounds quite... Oh, dang it. Wow, of course. I just realized I just did this one in my other playthrough, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Oh, come on, really? You definitely were in my line of sight there. Come on. Wow. I'm gonna join you over here, Garrus. All right. Come on. Melt that one. There we go. Got a little bit of everybody there. Oh, moral. Who is moral? Got a vanguard. And moral. Cover. Oh. I'll tear oh. you apart. Really? Oh my word. I'll tear you. Get ready to burn. Whoopsie. Oh boy. Come on. <clears throat> Alrighty, come on. Alright, gonna have to get Garrus back up at this point, because this is getting silly. Like what I just did to you? I'll tear you apart. Focus fire. Oh boy. Yep. That just is not a well positioned spot for cover for me. Don't know why I continued to just stay there. 
There we go. There we go. Shoot. Um, how about you get that drone? Please, Garrus. Really? Ugh. So annoying. Really? I had targeted him. Get ready to burn. <sighs> Come on, you dumb. There we go. Wow. Yeah, that fight is definitely harder on Insanity than it is on Hardcore. By a fair bit. I will definitely attest to that. Which way are we going? We're going that way. Okay. And we're back. A little bit of dust bunny excitement <laughs> there. Um, don't know if you would have heard Bridget's reaction. But if you did, that's all that was. <laughs> and I was just checking on that. Um, but... Wonderful... I think we're basically going to go right into where... Yep, right here already. It's a very quick mission. There he is. Um, and then... This computer contains the there we go. Intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. All right. Sorry that my mic is not sitting flat. And I don't know why. But yeah, we're uploading the data to the Alliance. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. And that's the I did the same thing in the other playthrough, if I remember correctly. Um so Cerberus operative Tyrone Rollins was found dead. Encrypted data transmitted to Alliance for decryption. Got 156 experience, 4125 credits, and some platinum. That looks good to me. So I think what we are going to do now. We are going to do Jacob's loyalty uh, after we check to see if we can regain Miranda's. I feel like we might have our Paragon high enough at this point. But... Ooh... I'm fairly certain we have the ability to do two missions before going. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'll check it in a second, Kelly. Uh, I'm fairly certain that we can do two missions before we have to go to the final mission and be able to save everybody. I'm fairly certain we can do two missions. Um, uh, the big thing is, do I want to risk that? That is always a difficulty. I have work to do, Commander. Go chat with your friend Jack Dang if it. you want small talk. Miranda, I'd like to talk about this. I'd rather we didn't. All right. I'm fairly certain that once we do Overlord, we will definitely have enough Paragon, because I'm definitely going the Paragon route on that one, no matter what. Um... Uh, oh, I still need to talk to Thane following his 
Uh, following his loyalty, I should do that quickly. Uh. Mm. Overlord is so tricky for me. So Overlord and Arrival are very tricky for me in terms of how early they appear as possible um, missions. Because both of them feel like they should be completed much later in the game to me. I mean, Arrival either either should be done right away or, at, or way, way at the very end. Um, which is the difference that I'm demonstrating here. But Overlord... And we'll see this once we get to it. If you do it too early, it... I don't understand how you could com continue to work with Cerberus, quite simply. Honestly, same thing with Jack's loyalty mission. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. You are not a typical assassin. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. Hmm. The Hammer yep. trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. Mm. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. Yeah, an investment does seem very cold. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Okay. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans. They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. Mm. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Very true. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. Hmm. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. Okay, tell me more about it. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. I wouldn't go so far as to say that it sounds like slavery. Um... It, it's tricky because um, it all depends on how it's utilized like it mm. why was your race going extinct overpopulation that must sound trite to you humans developed mass effect mm. drive before the problem became acute our home world Rakana had few resources we hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. Woof. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. Yeah, what's it like now? What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As hmm. Rakana died around them, my people slaughter each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Hmm. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch. He dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-covered eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Yeah, what was that? Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. I realize I've not done a very good job in this playthrough of actually talking to the crewmates. Um, I will change that in the Legendary Edition playthrough. Um... I'll be very careful about that. But that's also going to kind of make this one sort of interesting as a 
as a representation of the game. Especially for me, because I'm, I'm usually the sort of person I will check in with everybody after every mission. You would have, you saw that in the Mass Effect videos. Literally every time I, I had a debriefing episode for every mission, which was me going around and talking to everybody. So let's check our mail. Encrypted data from Alliance Command. Commander, we got the data you sent. If this went public, it could do some serious damage to Cerberus' image. The intel will take years to decode, but just having it is a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission. Anderson. And update on the kid from Bailey. Hey, Shepard. Just wanted you to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me. Helping me deal with some trash in the wards, maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then, what is? Don't know if your drill and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there, Bailey. Yep, that's, uh... That is some stuff, to say the least. But... that point let me see here I think Let's quickly go to the Shadow Broker base. I don't know for sure what time I stepped away from my computer to check on Bridget and when I, um, and how long that was. So I, I know as I'm looking right now that I have been recording for over 30 minutes, but I don't know how much, how long I've actually been recording gameplay. So we'll quickly go to the Shadow Broker base just to see if Liara has anything new for us. Um, and then I'll decide in between episodes if we're going to do Jacob's loyalty or Overlord. So I've been talking about Overlord so much. I feel like I can't not do it next. That's kind of when I'm feeling But there's also a part of me that kind of, that wants that to just be the episodes of a week. So, we shall see. What do I have to do to get the Shadow Barker ship? Because I, I know that that's been there for a while. No missions currently. Alright. So... That is going to be where we end this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. T until next time, this is your Game Professor, signing off. I'll see you then.